ok we're back so somebody asked me a question about diversity of homelessness and I really thought it was a good question in other words what uh, what kind of class of people are homeless is it mostly black is it mostly white what are their ages all very good questions and I have some answers <coughs> You have to forgive me, I'm still, I'm, I'm still sicker than a dog, but I'm getting better. It was a rough night last night. I had to go to the shelter last night because it was just too cold. But now I hear it's going to be like, I don't know, 40 degrees Monday. So it's going to feel like a heat wave. And then by Wednesday, it's going to be like 52. I'm going to melt. And I'll, I'll be proud to melt. Um, okay, so here's some very interesting statistics for you that I have discovered thus far of being homeless. Uh, and look at this crazy alley. These were where homeless people would hang out during the night. Believe it or not, I'm not gonna say where this is exactly at, but uh, you find these places when you walk around a lot. Are they good? Well, I don't know. But anyway, so what I really found astonishing, my first observation. <coughs> I'm sorry. I, I'm I'm really sick. Uh, what I found astonishing was most, well, not most, 70% of homeless people in Pittsburgh in the shelters that stay in the shelters are young people. They're in their 20s, 18 to 27, very young. Uh, the second ca category would be... Um, uh, 40s and 50s people my age there are quite a few 30s it's 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 really diverse I, I i wouldn't say it's pretty equal but i'd say the majority of uh, the people in the shelters are actually young people sadly though there's a what i found to be a, a disturbing statistic that there's as far as i would express an opinion about it's a disturbingly high rate of folks in the 50 to 70, 75 plus category range, age, that are homeless. There's a lot of old folks walking around that have nowhere to go. It's absolutely revolting. Um, walking around in a big city like this and seeing how many folks have nowhere to go in all these diversified age ranges from 18 on up to you know over 75 it's just uh it's startling it, it's, it's it really is <coughs> i would say that the younger people are probably homeless for numerous reasons they could be having problems with family members they could be having problems with alcohol and drugs they could have legal troubles or they could uh, you know just have mental problems or something another alarming statistic for me was the fact that I found a lot of young people who have mental problems they're mentally ill so many mentally ill people in, in Pittsburgh you would not believe how many people have they're just completely out of their minds and are walking around they don't even know where they're at. And um, they walk here on Liberty Avenue and you'll see them talking to themselves, having conversations with themselves, shouting, shouting obscenities at people and doing stuff that you just can't imagine. <coughs> and uh, because of that, they can't get jobs, they can't get put in housing. And everybody says, oh, you really got to look your best and you got to show that you need help and that you want help. Well, it's really not that simple because a lot of these people just don't have the, believe it or not, <coughs> they don't have the capacity to do that. They don't have the ability to take care of themselves physically, let alone mentally, because if they did, they wouldn't be fucking homeless. It's really simple. It's not rocket science. This place right here, this uh, 
Catholic Charities is a homeless place here. As you can see, they put these in here for homeless people to take. And blankets, hats, things that would keep you warm. They're not very good. You couldn't, that wouldn't last you a, a night out here. But it's better than nothing. But the, the big problem with homeless people, their, their, their biggest problem is the fact that a lot of them just, the, the, the mental illness is really bad. And when I say that, I'm not, I'm not suggesting that it's uh, completely schizophrenic or anything like that, or psychotic. It could be, um, it could be as little as anxiety or depression. But when I say that also, it's, it's to the point where it completely inhibits them from uh, working any kind of job, let alone a professional corporate one or a entry level job. So because of that, those little things, they, they just they simply can't hold their own ground. And uh, it, it, it creates a lot of challenges for homeless people. And they get harassed a lot. They get judged, they get, their, uh, they get judgment passed on them because a lot of them can't look neat. Some of them can. You know, the whole idea out here, as I said in earlier videos, just because you are homeless doesn't mean you have to look like you're homeless. But some do. Some just, they don't have what it takes to clean themselves up. Even if they had help for it, they wouldn't do it. They just won't. So what are you going to do with those kinds of people? They're difficult questions. But overall, I said the most shocking thing for me was how many young people are in these shelters. 18 to 25 range is just, oh my God, I can't believe it, man. It's like, what happens to these people so early in life that they end up in situations like this? And then the old folks, 70, 75 years old, they should be enjoying their glory years. And instead, they're sleeping in dirty basements of churches. It's just absolutely revolting. So, those are all good questions. I hope I put a little bit of it in perspective. I would say in terms of, uh, in terms of race, I'd say it's pretty equal among blacks, among whites. There's quite a few Asians. I mean, it's a pretty diversified city here in Pittsburgh. We have a lot of different people here, and um, it, it, it pretty much affects everybody. I wouldn't, I couldn't put a, a specific number on races because I really, honestly, I think it's irrelevant. They're pretty equal in the shelters: black, white, old, young. To me, that was staggering. It was one of the first things that I'd noticed. It really was staggering. And uh, when you walk. Up and down here, Liberty Avenue, you just see so much. It keeps going, and nobody seems to care. So until my next video, I hope I answered some questions, and I will get back to you. If you have any more, let me know what they are, and I'll try to answer those questions as I continue on my journey. Okay? I'm out.